see Let me take that. nervous system made up of a dark and shiny mass about 15 inches long by 7 inches wide. Chaotic structure reacts directly to white light, contracting like a pupil. I'm taking all the samples needed to carry out a biochemical analysis. I already believe it possible to assert that the main elements composing it are zinc and beryllium. As for the others, I'm mainly interested in their central crystalline structure. It's that structure that I need to extract and inject. Who goes there? I'll be right there. We're recording. I'm gonna save. Alan, don't even think about it. I could have gotten rid of you a dozen times at least, but I'd rather you have a taste of darkness while you're still alive. When my friends are done with you, your body will still come in handy for me. <laughs> I call. Aline, I just ran into Alan right in the middle of one of his macabre experiments. He was up to his elbows dissecting... I don't want to know what. <sighs> Horrible. But where are you? In an underground laboratory. It looks as though Alan's experiments require quite a bit of material. And corpses. Corpses? Human corpses? I don't know. He hightailed it out of there and cut off the power supply. I'm stuck here in the dark. I found a floor plan. I think it's the layout of the lab. Wait, there's an exit just next to the operating table. Okay, on my way. The doorway's blocked with metal bars. Alan must have set up an automatic locking system. Wait. The plan includes the layout for all the lab's power cables. It must show where the locking mechanism is. Thanks, Aline. You're a lifesaver. Try not to make a habit out of it. Wait, I've got a problem. What? The locking mechanism is outside of the lab. Aline, we have to find a solution. Maybe if I turn all these devices back on... We could provoke an overload and free up the door. Okay, let's try it. Where do I begin? 
There are two tables with an experimental device on them. Follow the wall to the left of the door to find them. Okay, it's a real house of horrors in here. Okay, I'm turning on a kind of electric arc, but nothing's happening. Wait, keep going with the other devices. I hope at least this will be of some use. Keep on going after you get past the table, and you'll hit the corridor. Go through the passage, and head straight on down the corridor. The cell's corridor. Anyway, the light switch is at the very end of it. All right, I don't really have much choice. Yeah, okay. Yes, I think that's the light switch. Okay, I just lit a projector, but I didn't get any of the promised overload. Have some patience. I'd like to see you try it. The light switch is in the side room. Go back the other way and turn right at the intersection, then follow the corridor. able to grab me. How many canisters do I have left? Two. Six percent, so I've got to replace my canisters. Sure, if it does damage. Follow the wall. You can't miss it. Which wall exactly? Yeah, okay. It's like a big maze in here. I'm really confused.
Aline, you should see this. I don't even want to know what Alan... I just turned on some kind of laser beam. Okay, in theory, now's the time that something should happen. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna stay stuck here. That's it! It's working! Okay. Take the door to your left and cross the laboratory to reach the exit. Thanks a lot. On my way. Patience has its limits. You promised me results, and I'm still waiting for them. Your brother escaped. Escapedy. Escapes. Escapades. I guess that. Your brother Escapades are a little concern to me. I agreed to take care of your family's considerable debt, and I grant you the loans you requested. I supplied you with all the raw materials you claim to have need. Uh, need of. Need I remind you that you are useful, but not indispensable. It would be incons. Inconvenience. It would inconvenience me greatly. You have to use. How shall I put it? More persuasive. More persuasive means to obtain the translations of the tablets and a copy of your brother's work notes. If I do not receive a reply to this letter, I will not hesitate to employ the necessary methods to achieve my ends. Christopher Lambs. Some really hard words in there. She's. Oh, this is the second letter. My dear Ellen, if you are reading this letter, it means that the curtain has gone down on my farce of life. You are still young, but I know you will understand when I entrusted you with this statue and told you to talk about it to no one. I noticed that, to your surprise, in your expression, you must realize that this statue represents a great danger to the world of darkness, so that you shall never forget the dangers and the importance of our goal. I leave you to this. I leave you this half of a photograph. You standing in front of the gate and never forget that you are not alone. I am confident you will one day manage to translate the tablets and gravings. All the Mortons except your father have managed the task. Even if you do not have the benefit of the Deserto's help, I leave you with the huge responsibility of this choice. I am far too much of a coward. Go easy on your father and take care of your mother. Eden Shaw is your only help now. Remember, he could also turn out to be your worst enemy. Farewell, your Grandpa Jeremy. So we got two letters. Oh, those are the two letters. I don't need those from you. There is something here, but I can't tell. There we go. I saw it, but I couldn't see it really properly. Another gas cartridge. Sweet. That's where we came from, so that's not it. I've got two statues. And you? Same. I also have two statues. I went by Alan Morton's lab and I'm starting to get an idea of Lamb's goals. And what about your friend? Fisk? I don't think these scumbags even gave him a fighting chance. You mean the Morton brothers? No. I'm talking about Lamb and Johnson. 
Fisk probably never even set foot on this damn island. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to get us out of here. It seems that if I keep going, I should be able to reach the cellars beneath the manor. When I was down there, I opened a trap that leads to the greenhouse. Okay, thanks. You want to use a tape recorder, sure. Lamb, is that you? Professor Morton, what a pleasure to hear from you. Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Yes, and I wish to thank you for them. Say your brother's work has made great progress. His notes are extremely clear. I had the feeling I was reading a medical course for first-year students. However, I remain convinced that you could have sent me the contents of the writing tablet's translation a while back. You wouldn't have been trying my patience by any chance, would you? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You've no idea of what is going on here. If I believe what is in your twin's notes, it must be close to hell, right? I sent you two of my best agents. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. The army? The army? Don't get carried away now. You've managed perfectly well until now without my help. Right? You are a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Mr. Morton, I do not think you understand me quite well. Thanks to your brother and yourself, I have made great headway. For me, the great day is drawing near. As of now, you are of no more use to me. Lamb? Lamb! Right, that's a disturbing recording. Is there anything in this chest here? It doesn't seem like there's anything here. I hope there's another door around here somewhere, else I'm gonna have to go back to the infested spiders. Here. 
We have to. Quick! Alan is about to perform the ritual that opens the gate. I can feel it. But can't you do something to stop him? I am too old. I do not have... Hey, don't quit on us now. We still need you. What are we supposed to do? Recover the last statues and meet me in my people's sanctuary. That is where the gate is located. With some luck, we might get there before Alan does. Why did you keep on working for the Morton so long, without ever doing anything? Have you never said to yourself, the time has not yet come? Well, that is what I told myself for 50 years. But now I know that my time has come. What do you mean? If Miss Sedrak is here, it is because some men meant her to be. You, you are here because a god meant you to be. Oh yes, I know. You came to Shadow Island for your friend. But think this over. You rushed here without even asking yourself any questions. To come here seemed self-evident. Fisk was nothing but the trigger, despite the deep friendship you had for him. How do you know all this? I too came here, Mr. Carnby. And since then, my dreams are like books in which the future is written. But not my future. Yours. Elaine? I met Edenshaw. We've got to find Alan. I know. Is that all he said? I have this funny feeling he knew all along that I'd come to him. I know this will sound strange, but I feel as though I'm linked to what's happening here. Kinda like deja vu? No, it's deeper than that. Like shreds of some lost past. Me, it's my whole past that's in shreds. You? You've been speaking to Obed Morton. Yes. And he's not my father. But let's say I expected as much. Aline, you've lived your entire life not knowing who your father was. A few more months won't change anything. I swear, if we make it out of this alive, I'll handle your case. But let me say this. Meetings like that are usually a big disappointment. Alrighty, so we're gonna go up the ladder now. Alright. Let's go finally up the ladder.
phosphorus cartridge is sweet. I'm be taking those things. First aid kit, I'll take it. throw because it uses a whole canister all at once. Rocket launcher. We can only hold three, okay. <clears throat> so we got a broken railing and a statue. Hmm. There's an evil anyone? the cat eye. Reflection of my flashlight. Cancel. 